Hi guys, I'm back. And as you can see today, we're going to do another stone coat countertops art coat resin project. Uh, I want to show you real quick the last piece that I did, the little galaxy piece. It dried beautifully and shimmery and smooth. And you can see all the glitter under there that I have on there. Um, and you can see how vibrant those alcohol inks are exactly the same as they were um, when they were wet. So um, nice hard finish. And then on the back, you can see I, I got a couple little spots because I pulled the tape off, but then I think this wasn't quite even, of course. But um, other than that, you know, if you put tape around the edges, it comes off fairly easy and uh, gives you a nice smooth edge. You don't have a bunch of drips you have to deal with. So yeah, there's that finished piece. And today we're going to do a geode with some glass beads crushed up, some glitter, some colored shells. And I have already mixed up my resin. So you guys go out and order this stuff. Um, it's well worth the pennies that you spend on it. And enter my code, my promo code HWA, during checkout. You get 30 bucks off of an $80 order which is really awesome. That's basically like buying some big containers of resin plus some of these metallics. My colors here are, this is the white metallic from Stone Coat Countertops. This is my uh, Artist Loft metallic cobalt blue, sorry. This is Thalo blue. This is the white uh, Amsterdam acrylic ink. This is the Bimini blue from apple barrel mixed with a little bit of the the real teal metallic and then this is just the silver from artist loft set those aside so we don't get resin all over them as you can see i've already painted my surface this is one of those uh, basswood uh, slabs if you will i have just painted it and i just put some tape on the back to so that I won't have such a hard time dealing with drips afterwards, hopefully. I have tried to see that this is fairly level, but uh, it's probably not exactly level. So whatever I do is probably going to head off in one direction at some point. <laughs> because that's what always happens. So let's get on with it. This metallic white from Stone Coat Countertops is so gorgeous it's even prettier than that uh, iridescent medium from artist loft i hate to say that but it is um, it's like crushed pearls it is so beautiful so we're going to start with a little bit of this in the middle and most it's going to get covered up and i saw a tip from i'm sorry i cannot remember who you are um but I saw this tip where put your resin, in, instead of doing all the resin first and then putting all your stones in it, do it layers going outwards because when you do, if you do all the resin first and then set your stones in it, you know, the weight of the stones is going to push your resin off. So try this. I'm going to bust out some of those air bubbles real quick. Ooh, and you can see how, how fast it spreads with the heat. And I really don't want it to spread. Spreading too much, so let's put some pretties in the middle. I've got some tweezers because a lot of these little pieces, I don't want to get my fingers in the resin. So I'm just going to kind of place some of these in there, hopefully. Like some of them I can just drop in. But I want to kind of keep them together. And I don't want to touch my fingers and all that resin, which I just did. So, um, yeah. We're going to use tweezers and just kind of set them in there. And I just want this, this first um, little section to be small. I don't want it to be real big. And these are just really cheapy, cheapy, cheapy tweezers, so I really don't care what happens to them. But this might end up being a long video. I'm sorry. Uh, because, you know, obviously, if I set these pieces down... A little piece at a time. We're going to be here all day. Um, let's put a little drip in the middle so I can stick that one down. Okay. 
Okay. And then we're going to sort of crowd some of the little glass beads around those, I think. I'm going to put just a little bit more around that edge. I don't want to put too much because as you saw, it spreads very easily and very quickly. We'll put a little, I think I might put some of these in a smaller container and maybe drizzle them in, hopefully. Hopefully. Oops, I don't want to get them in the middle. I want to save my little middle spot for... Don't go running off. They're running off. But that's why it's good to just have... Um, you know, the resin in the middle because you can sort of catch them and shove them back into the center there. Oh. I don't want this to be a perfectly circular geode, so just kind of make it where it's not perfect. Okay, we'll leave that, and let's see, what should we do next? Let's do some, maybe a drizzle of the dark around the outside there. I need to do just a little bit of time because I don't want it to really overflow too much. And you can see it's like moving in, in and around those beads. That's cool. Ooh, that's such a pretty color. Such a pretty color. I love that dark color. Okay, so let's do some phthalo and then maybe some blue stones in the phthalo. want to drip it outside its area. Wow, that is super dark. <laughs> I know, phthalo is a dark color. I get that. I'm just saying that is super dark. More than, darker than what I ex expected. Okay, so maybe if we try and drizzle them like I did with the little beads. We can try that. Oops, went over the phthalo green. See, that's why I shouldn't be doing it that way. them around and shove them in there. I don't think that one belongs. That one does not look blue to me. I don't know if I really like these shells. I thought I did, but I don't know if I like them for this project. We'll see. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not liking that. I'm not liking the shells. But we'll continue. 
Uh, let's see, let's put some, well, Losing some of that metallic and see what happens. Kind of hoping it'll kind of fade away over those shells a little bit. Really not liking that. I don't like the way they're touching the glass beads on the inside. Let's move those out a little bit. Maybe that'll help. At least the aesthetic look of it. There we go. That's a little happier for me. This is not a perfect science, that's for sure. Okay. Move those out a little more. Because you got to have some plain areas too. You don't want everything obviously covered in uh, rocks. I feel like I need maybe just a little hint of a drizzle of a little more of that just to sort of take up the space. Well, now let's go for a little bit of white, maybe, around this outer edge. Maybe we'll put some glass, some clear glass in there. Oops. Well, it's a fun mess, that's for sure. <laughs> I love that metallic white. It is so gorgeous. Let's put a little bit more over there. There we go. Okay. And it's not exactly perfectly round, which is exactly what I want, so that's good. Uh, I don't even know how to... This is hard to do when you're trying to keep it small. Let's get a spoon and maybe. We get a baby spoon. When you get all that fine stuff in there, it kind of shoves the resin out even further. And I am going to put a um, another coat of resin over this once it's dry, just to sort of seal in all this glass, because I really don't want it, um, you know, sticking out into the... falling off and, you know, little fingers touching it, all that sort of thing. The 
definitely don't want little fingers getting into it, so. We're sort of growing out this way. Let's see if I we can rein it back in a little bit. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just like going that way because of the slant of the table. Hopefully. Okay. Let's try. How about some silver? Some of the little silver, the silvery. Really, I'm not sure if I really want to put the silver unless I, in, instead of just on the outside, maybe. Well, I don't know. That's a tough one. I kind of want to just put some more green in there and just maybe let's just change it and maybe do the, the silver on the outside. I'm gonna put some more of this uh, metallic cobalt blue around it because it is a gorgeous color. Sorry, I'm being quiet. It's just not a lot to say at the moment. Just sit back and relax and watch. I like to watch the way the resin sort of flows into everything. It's, all, it's almost like a zen thing. Watching that, that resin just sort of see how it's kind of flowing into that gives it a more natural look as well and of course since we're doing a geode we want the natural look we don't want it to be perfect lines definitely not what geode in nature is perfect right absolutely none think let's do this end a little fatter maybe there we go that's a little better well I just kind of like it better that way and let's put some more phthalo blue in there. Maybe we'll put some more of those pretty. Let's see, if I was using the other resin, by now it would all be hard. There's just no playtime with it. That resin is, you pour it and you're done. There is no playtime at all. And, you know, it's it's not meant for art that's why it works great it still does work great I'm not going to say it's not good resin it just doesn't work for work for definitely wouldn't work for this process and if y'all get bored just fast forward you know to a section that you want to watch that's why the fast forward button is there. If you don't want to listen to me talk or you don't want to, you know, watch every little individual layer here. I can understand that. Oh, Lord, be quiet. Okay, let's see. Uh, what color do we want to do next? Do we want to do some more glass or... Do we want to do more shells? I think the shells, I think, because we have an inner ring of shells there. I feel like we need to do a few, a few more. We could do the turquoise shells. I've got some turquoise shells too. No, I think we need to repeat the darker ones. I don't know. Um, um, um. Well, let me think for a minute. Yeah. 
No, we'll, I think we'll do the turquoise ones. Let's do the turquoise ones. Why not? Let's do a, a small line of this that, um, because it's an iridescent color. Not iridescent. It's uh oh. I probably need to heat these up a little bit. They're starting to get thicker. As you can see, it does not want to let go of my. Does not want to let go of my stick. I feel it getting a little warmer in my little cup here. I need a little more around here. Not quite showing up over on this edge here. There we go. That's better. I think I want to drag a toothpick through that real quick. give it some interest. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let's put a few of these in there. too many. I want to take it over. Ah, don't go that way. These are so big. Dump some of these out on the table here. I can find the smaller ones. Well, that one is way too big. Go. I'm sorry if my head is in the way. You do this sometimes you don't think about your head being in the way. That definitely has to go out. dark ones in there. That's a pretty piece right there. I gotta put that in there, even though it's really too big to, it's just too pretty not to put in there. <laughs> Okay, almost done with the little turquoisey. That does not go right there. Let's try 
I'm gonna do this one piece at a time because kind of I don't want all that to okay so one more piece in there. I think that's pretty pretty good I don't want them so shoved out this way though Want the, you know, I don't want a perfect shape. That's a little better. I think I need a couple more over here. Kind of balance that little corner out. Okay. All right. So I think that's okay for the moment. Um, Let's do some more of the iridescent medium real quick. try and pour it. No, I'm not going to try and pour it because that's a mistake I don't want to make. I know what will happen if I try and pour it. It'll go everywhere. Okay, hope I can get around to the other side without running out of this stuff. Yeah. It's very hard to know how much resin you need, but um, that's another thing that the guys are good at over there at Stone Coat. If you can't figure out how much resin you need for a certain project, call them up and ask them, and uh, they can figure it out for you. And help you out with that, which is pretty cool. Okay. Mm, I think that's good for a moment. Maybe a touch more over here. Keep that up. That way, if it needs to spread, it can still it still has a little bit of time to spread. Okay. Um. How about some of the little glass beads? kind of spring them around there and kind of shove them into the resin. With a toothpick. Hopefully. They're not stuck to everything else. A few stragglers, that's okay. Ah, oh, they're going everywhere.
should be plenty. Let's get those babies shoved in there. Trying to kind of make up more of I don't like I said, I don't want it to be a perfect shape. Because geodes are not perfect. Alright, I think we've pretty much got them all shoved in there where they'll stay. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> and let's do some more. Let's do some more of this beautiful green first. And then, oh, it's getting a little thick. I'm going to see if I can warm it up just a little bit. With just some heat from my torch, just holding my torch over my cup of resin so it thins back out, you know, it warms up a little bit. There we go. Which actually worked really well for my resin, but not so much for my cup. My cup didn't like that. Okay, we don't want too much of this because we're running out of space and I don't have a lot of this anyway. See, after I heated it up with my torch, with the torch probably about a good, at least six inches above it, my uh, resin. Now it wants to flow a lot easier. So it, even if it starts to get thick in your cup, you can heat it up a little bit with your torch. Very carefully, so you don't burn your cup that it's in, for one thing. And so you don't burn, obviously, the resin. Because you don't, you know, you don't want to breathe that in if you're not wearing a respirator. But you should be wearing a mask. Um, but yeah, if you burn the resin, it's even worse. Almost out of this one. Luckily, I should have enough to get all the way back around. I know, I'm sorry this is a long video, guys, but sometimes it gets a little long because of the project we're doing. Just trying to sort of... Okay, I think that is good. Now let's put some more of this blue... We need Mathalo blue. Let's see how we're, how we're doing on time. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a little bit long, but all right, we're heating up the uh, phthalo blue a little bit. Just giving it a little warmth. Actually, I'd say my torch is a good, at least 10 inches away from my resin because I don't want to burn it. Okay, that's better. A little bit, anyway. And since we're coming down to the edge here, we want to start being very careful. I do not want to, um, I really don't want to go over. And that's actually a good thing about my resin getting a little thick right now is that it will help keep it from flowing over as long as I'm real careful when I get towards the edge. And don't put too many shells on the edge where it's going to push the resin over. I 
I'm trying to decide, do I want to put glass down? Or do I want to put more shell? I think I'm going to put some glass down. Some of that bright blue glass. We haven't used any of that yet. I'm not paying attention. I'm going over the edge with my blue resin. Stop doing that. Just enough phthalo blue. Awesome. There we go. Okay. I really want to wipe. Uh oh, it went over the edge. I don't want it. I don't want that blue on that silver edge at all. It's getting sticky. I'm actually a little afraid to put any kind of gems in there now. I don't want it to go over the edge. Okay, let me take these gloves off here. Ah. Okay, let's, um, I don't know if we really need any more shells or not, or any more glass or anything like that. I guess we could put a little bit of glass in there. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and put my gray around the edges. And then we will see about if I want to put any more, uh, you know, anything else in there. This is supposed to be silver, but I don't know. It doesn't look very silver <laughs> in the resin. Let's warm it up a little bit. It needs warming up. All right, let's... I really just want to pour it along that edge, but I'm afraid I'm going to get it too thick. Ah, no, 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 it's not doing what I wanted it to do. That's definitely going to go over the sides. And there it goes. Don't be afraid to drag your fingers through it. It can make an interesting color pattern. Sometimes, sometimes not, but most of the time it does. Oh, be quiet, Thor. Okay. We definitely need something else on that edge. I kind of feel like we need the glass and the glass and the, uh, I don't know. I like gray is dripping down the sides. No big deal. 
try to get a glove on, but my hand, I just took off all those gloves, so my hand really doesn't want the glove on anymore. And it's breaking. It's not helping. Uh, let's, let's do some glue. I think we should do some glue. Whoops. And I probably should have done that before I put the gray on. Oh well. Hindsight is 2020, right? I feel like the outside of a geode has to be chunky anyway. It just seems like it should be. avoid the really huge pieces but and you have to watch it if you're gonna cook these on your stove to break them up don't cook them too long especially if they have the iridescent finish on them because the iridescent finish will turn brown if you cook them too long and you can't really wipe that off some of it you can wipe off but really you can't so do that at your own risk I'm not recommending that you do that, but it does work pretty well. All right, that's that. Let's see, maybe we can shove some of it together a little better because it was just kind of all over the place shove them in so I can put some of those shells along the outside but the resin is definitely setting um, but partly because I uh, my husband came home um, so I shut the video off for about probably about 10 minutes so the resins out here for about 10 minutes I'm going to put a little more resin along that edge just so those shells will stick. There we go. Okay. If we have enough work time with that, yeah, I think there's a little bit. Okay, that should be good. I'm really not sure what we're going to be doing about the uh, edges now that there's some gray resin pouring down it, but I'll figure it out later. Well, let's put these in a little cup, see if we can sprinkle along the edge. That'll be definitely easier. I 
my fingers are so sticky now. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize my head was in the way. some white in there but I don't think I got any white in there except for that one little section so maybe we'll drizzle some white through it I don't know for that it's very complicated I think a bit too complicated for this many shells and stuff I think I needed maybe a, a bit more a, or a bit less um, for this size, I probably need a bit less stuff in it, if you know what I mean. We need more empty space through there, I think. And, um, oh well. I still think it looks kind of neat. I'm trying to just get all these little shells kind of shoved back where they belong. Don't want any stragglers here. Don't want any flowing down the sides either. I need one right there. There's an empty spot. There we go. That's better. Stay. Alright, I think that's going to be it, folks. People. People, my people. There we go. Oh, yeah, I mean, empty spot right there. Ooh, that's not a pretty rock. Okay. <laughs> Let me torch it. air bubbles out there. I feel like I need to put some white strings through there, but I don't think that I have enough work time left. Okay. Well, I'm not going to, well, yeah, I'll get you down real quick. Okay. A little close up. There's the center. You can kind of see how the, the phthalo blue is kind of flowing in and out and you know, all the colors sort of eventually sort of muddle together. There's the edge. I'm going to clean that up a little bit as soon as I cut the film off. This video is really too long. Okay. Get you back up. Okay. Well, I'm so sorry for the really super long video, but I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I hope that wherever you are on the planet, you have an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. And I hope you go try this. Like I said, Go buy some of the stone coat art resin and uh, put the promo code in HWA during your checkout. So you can get $30 off of a $80 or more order. Um, and as you can see, this video is almost an hour long and I shut it off in the middle of the video and was still able to work with it. So long work time. The colors mix in, you know, really, really well. It's just beautiful. So. All right, that's where I'm going to leave you. There's your pretty for today. See you later. Bye.